Toma time! What is going on guys? Toma Tales here and today I'm bringing you guys another video. And in today's video, I want to speak on the American school system and my experience with it because um, if you don't know, I was born and raised in Germany. I, I did all of my school there up to 13 years old and uh, at 7th grade I moved to America and I did finish middle school here did high school here, did college here, and here is Florida. I did, you know, all that in Florida. So this is my perspective on it, and uh, I want to talk to, talk about it because it is two extremes. Going to school in Europe and going to school in America. Let me start off by describing going to school in Germany. Now, uh, going to school in Germany was, firstly, it was very, very hard, you know. I remember, you know, going to school and always being challenged. I still, to this day, I'm 23 now and, you know, I moved when I was 13, so anything before 13, I still remember how challenging it was, how afraid, in a sense, I was to go to class, to go to school, because the teachers do not play around. And, you know, in Europe, you're banking on your education, that is everything, you know, because that actually gives you a job in Europe, you know, they take that stuff seriously, whereas in America, you just get some college degree, no one gives a shit, but uh, in Europe, in Germany, it matters, and so kids care, and they have to care, because if they don't, they're gonna get sent to some shitty, uh, shitty school, because there's different stages in Germany, there's like, I'm not gonna speak German, but there's the lowest for all the kids that aren't smart, the middle, the smart and then the very smart. It's it's classifications, different schools for different sm smartnesses, you know? And so, uh, yeah, I just remember always, always being challenged, always being nervous, and always having to do my utmost best. And, ha and living like that, it gives you discipline and it gives you respect, you know? School's not easy. School is not a hobby in Germany and Europe. You have to take it serious and you have to respect your teachers. And so those qualities, there's no, there's no fights going on in the classroom in Europe. There's no talking back to your teacher. There's no disrespecting other classmates in class because it is very strict and it is, they don't play any games. And so uh, being raised like that, it definitely gave me a lot of good qualities. And uh, I'm not saying that it's all good in Germany because if I'm being honest, I remember when I was 12 years old, right before I moved to uh, America, I had the hardest school year of my life. And uh, I literally contemplated suicide at 12 years old. Like, I don't know how far along I got, but I was so stressed out and the teachers scared me so much. And I just didn't think I could do it. That I was like, I would always take the trains to school and I was like, I, sh I was dead ass thinking I should just jumping from this in front of this train because uh, I, I don't want to do this anymore and uh, that is intense it, it really is intense but life is not easy and if life is easy you're gonna have a shit generation a shit future and little shit kids running around everywhere which is what we see in America because school is easy in America and uh, yeah that school year where I'm telling you about where I was con con contemplating suicide that school year turned out to be the greatest experience in my life and you know I made the most friends and I overcame all those challenges of those hard ass subjects it was it was such a hard school you know and uh, I got past it and I'm so happy that I went to that school because adversity and struggles make you a better person and uh, now let's talk about school in America and my experience because it was insane and it's something that if you're European and you're still young like I was 13 years old when you moved when I moved, you, you need to know these things because it's going to hit you like a fucking sh bulldozer. So, uh, yeah, in Germany, I had a lot of friends. I, in Germany, during recess, everyone starts running outside. You play soccer, you play basketball, you throw frisbee. You're social and you're always active. And uh, let me tell you about America. I uh, moved to Florida at 13 years old and I went to middle school. Now we all know Florida has a shit school system. A lot of, you know, 
the more bar like in America, you know, the southern more states have a shit school system, especially Florida. And uh, I just remember the first day in middle school, guys. Firstly, I thought I was still gonna be the shit. In Germany, I was the shit, man. I had, I had all the friends. I had a social life. I was so happy. I was flourishing. I had a hot girlfriend, even though I was 12 and I didn't know what to do with her. But it was just great. And uh, I thought that that was gonna be who I was in America as well. But uh, I was mistaken. I, I remember this was the first day of middle school. I, uh, I still thought I was a shit, guys. I still thought I had the, the game, whatever you call it, you know, with the women like I did in Germany. And so I remember seeing this black girl, and she was pretty attractive. I was like, damn, this girl's pretty hot, you know, let me just do what I always do and, you know, say hi, to, say hello to her. So me with all my confidence, fresh off of, like, moving from Germany, I go up to her and I'm like, hey, how are you doing? Like, I, I find you very attractive, like, you're very pretty. And this girl just looked at me and was like, the fuck are you? Don't ever talk to me again. And I was like, what the hell? I was, she said that and just walked away. I was like, what the fuck just happened? Who does she think I am? Like, am I not who I think I am anymore? And uh, that just really was the beginning of my whole experience in school in America. Um, that really just set the tone because at that point I was like, why did she say that? Does she think I'm a loser? Like, this is not... And, uh, she was one of the popular girls. You know, I found out because I went to school with her for the next, like, two years. And she was one of the popular girls. And, uh, firstly, popularity in America is everything. If you're not popular, they're going to treat you like shit. They're not going to look at you. They're not going to want to talk to you because they're all so clicky. Social media, popularity, it's all that matters. But, uh, yeah, that incident happened. And, uh, I remember that same day in lunch. It was my first time lunch in America. I didn't know what anything was, where to go, what to do. Um, I remember they were like, alright class, stand up and uh, get in the line basically and go to lunch. Like, okay, uh, let's go to lunch. Like, next thing I know we're walking to, uh, to through the hallway and, and into this huge like cafeteria area. And I'm like, and there's tables lined up, like stacks and stacks, just lined up tables everywhere with seats that you can't move, you know, just. And they, they, they sit us down. In, uh, in like, um, alphabetical order or whatever. So we don't, like, we're not allowed to, like, go to our friends or anything. They sit you down. And, uh, I was just so shocked, guys. I went from every lunch running outside, being so excited, you know, playing soccer for 30 minutes. Just being so active, climbing on, on ropes and stuff. To, uh, being in a dim, dim, big room where you can't move your your chair you can't get off your seat unless you want to go to the bathroom and uh it was it was horrible guys i remember you know that first day i was just i was in the lunchroom sitting down like this because all i heard around me were people cussing yelling screaming and uh i was not used to it i uh i i i didn't like to hear the curse words i i was just not used to it and, and it was like I, I just wanted to close my ears and I did that for like four days straight until I finally got used to the cursing, the yelling, the craziness. Um, yeah, it was very crazy. I In Europe, I'd never seen a fight before, you know, growing up and going to school. Never saw a fight. The most I saw was one of my best friends and some other kid wrestling each other. They were, they were fighting, but they're only wrestling because, you know, when you're younger in Germany, you know, you're not taught, you're not you're not shown all the violence that you're shown in America and so they don't throw fists at that age yet and uh, when I went to America so many fights uh, these big fucking black girls would fight each other throw fucking fists these girls are probably 200 pounds already in middle school in the lunchroom they're just going at it I remember there was this one time in the lunchroom these two huge black girls they started a fucking fight on the table just going at it and then this this well-known like hall monitor that everyone knew he was like the main hall monitor you know uh he tried to break it up and one of the girls just started swinging at him and they ended up fighting the girl ended up fighting the the male hall monitor and i was just seeing this stuff and i just couldn't believe it people were throwing apple juice across the 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 fucking the the cafeteria and some people were just like spitting at other people just the, the craziest shit and uh yeah, my experience in America, that's how it started. 
Uh, I was super afraid. I was scared. Fights all the time. I'm not used to that. European people, we're not raised like that. You know, we're, we're protected by our family, by our, you know, parents to not be exposed to these things. But I was thrown right into it. And uh, eventually, you know, the fear went away after a couple of years. And I was starting to realize where I am. And this is America. And uh, nothing was the same. I was a loser from, from that first day on. From that first remark from that girl, I was a I was a total loser. Middle school made like zero friends. People I got made fun of a lot. I just didn't fit in. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know I didn't connect with anyone. It was just so different. I I didn't understand how I could go from being so cool and having so many friends in Germany and being so happy to my whole world, you know, turning around being a complete loser. And that followed me in high school as well. Um Complete loser, no friends. During lunch, um, I would hide in the hallway so people wouldn't see me. And it wasn't great, but uh, in terms of the education side, which is what's most important, school in America is such a joke, man. It's such a joke. You learn nothing about other countries. You know, when I was in Germany, I, I knew every single fucking flag of the world, and I still kept so much of that knowledge to this day. You show me a flag, I know what country that is. You tell me a country, I know where it is. In America, nothing. They don't care about any other countries, what I realized. It's the only thing they really teach you is a little bit of science, math, and a little bit of American history. That's all. I, I It was so easy, and kids in, cl in class don't care at all. They uh, they talk, they, they talk over the teacher, they don't listen to the teacher, they don't care about it, they get detention. You know, there's no respect at all, and uh, that's a problem in America. These kids are raised in these school systems where they don't need to have respect. There are no consequences because everyone's acting out. So what are they going to do? The teachers don't have control of the classroom. And uh, that attitude, you know, that follows from school. They go back home and then they start doing the same thing. People aren't raised well. People aren't raised with discipline here. And uh, yeah, school was easy in America. I never had a single worry. Like, it was so easy. I was never f fearful of my teacher. I was never worried about class passing or failing. And, uh, you know, when I did go to college, though, a lot changed for me because I got out of the kind of ghetto part of Florida, you know, southern Florida. I went more northern Florida and I went to college, a nice private college, because I took school serious, even in America, even though others didn't. I knew that I, I'm not just going to forget who I am because of everyone around me. And so I went to college and even though it was an amazing college, like I made a lot of friends, I found myself as a human again. I'm, I was happy again for the first time in like 10 years. I didn't see myself as a loser anymore. And uh, yeah, college really helped me guys. But same thing with education. I, I, I really didn't learn anything. My, uh, my degree, my major was English. And so I learned how to write some poetry. I learned how to write stories and do a little bit of literature. But just in terms of the whole school system, it's a joke. And uh, I'm pretty sure if you go to Europe and you tell them you went to school in America, college, unless it's like Stanford or Harvard, they don't give a shit. Because uh, European countries see America as a joke. And so if you go to America with an, go to Germany or anywhere else, France, with the American, you know, graduation certificate, they won't, they, they won't care. They'll look at you like you're an idiot. Because America are, America is full of idiots. It's full of insane people and uh that was my experience i mean i never personally got into a fight in school because i was always too scared i would always just you know like tell them i'm sorry or this this and that or just always de-escalate because i was i was tight i was a tiny kid guys you know I was super skinny super short never had a girlfriend again in in school n nothing no social life but uh, I'm here to tell you, if you're going through a tough time like I did, 10 years of, of hating myself, honestly, I started hating myself. I started being mean towards my family, judging them, criticizing them, starting problems every day. So they didn't like me either. It was just a whole very bad experience. But uh, I made it out. And, you know, here I am. I'm 23 years old. I just graduated college. I'm happy. I'm healthy. And I'm very proud of who I am. And so, you know, I want you guys to feel the same. Don't think that, you know, it's, it's so bad now, you know, people, I'm getting bullied, people don't like me, I'm a loser. You just have to fight through it, guys. Life is not easy. And if you want life to be easy, you're going to turn out a shit person. Because that's not, you know, the way to go in life to make something happen. You have to do it the hard way and you have to really push forward. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today.
Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.